Now look at verse 29. Jacob cooked a stew, and Esau came in from the field. Jacob's home cooking. He's chilling. He's not an outdoorsy guy. Esau come in, been out hunting and doing what he does. And look at this. He comes in weary. That word means famished. He comes in totally depleted. And Esau said to Jacob, please feed me with that same red stew that you're eating or about to eat. I am weary. I am famished. Therefore, his name was called Edom, verse 31. But Jacob said, sell me your birthright as of this day. And Esau said, look, I'm about to die. What is this birthright to me? Jacob said, swear to me. So he swore to him sold his birthright to Jacob. Jacob gave Esau bread and stew of lentils. Then he ate and drank, arose, and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. Oh, we got to comb through that. The fact is the pain of physical exhaustion was very real. Nothing wrong with him being physically exhausted. He'd been out. He's a hunter. He's out there doing his thing. He's in the sun. He probably didn't take enough water with him and all of that. And so he comes in. The pain of physical exhaustion was very real. Indeed, he was tired, weary, famished, hydrated, dehydrated. But real pain shouldn't have caused him to buy a lie. What do you mean by that, Pastor? Look at verse 32 when he said, I'm about to die. He was not about to die. He was weary, famished, dehydrated. He was not on a deathbed. Your feelings will lie to you every chance you give them. I hope you know this message isn't about Esau. I'm using him as a jumping off point to jump right into your business. He got lied to from within. His feelings caused him to misdiagnose himself. I'm about to die. He wasn't about to die. What did he need? He needed to get into the shade, get out of the hot sun. He needed some water. Once he had some water and in the shade, perhaps grab something to eat nearby, or if necessary, just keep drinking water and stay in the shade until you've recovered enough to go in and fix your own food. Right? The need was not what the feeling presented. The feeling was exhaustion. The need was shade and water and eventually food. But he, his feelings lied to him and said, you about to die. So along comes the deceiver. His brother's name, Jacob, means trickster, supplanter, deceiver. In our vernacular, con artist. His brother was a great con. Tricky from birth. Anytime you come out of the womb, then I'm going to get you. <laughs> you knew there was going to be trouble. But I need you to understand, mishandling our problems, our challenges, the pain in our lives can cause us dire consequences. Don't misdiagnose, don't mishandle your pain. Pain is real, but don't let pain drive you to a crazy place where you think the wrong thoughts and make the wrong decisions. You've got to learn to ask God to help me manage my pain correctly so that I keep on marrying myself to truth and never buy a lie. Hey, thanks so much for viewing today. I hope you were blessed. 
Listen, if you wanna receive all of the videos that we post, simply subscribe by pressing the button on your screen. We'd also like to encourage you to share this information with others so that they too can be blessed. God bless you and we'll talk to you soon.